back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So don't forget to grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Mine is actually just a water. Super thirsty today. Just come off the school run um, and baby Albert is having a little nap. And he'll probably need a feed after, so I need to get my liquids in. Um, so I've got like my Mother's Day Emma Ridge water mug, which I just love. Um, but today's video is a charity shop haul. I feel I've covered up one of these in ages. And I'm so excited because I've got some really nice little bits. And then I've got something very big in the look of a dresser. So I'm really excited. So I've got like a big Welsh dresser that I want to show you as well. It isn't like a massive one. It's like a two-door one. But obviously I was missing on that dresser styling I wanted in my house. Um, so I bought it. Bit big, so I will explain later. But I wanted to show you that as well in the video. Also as well, this video is kind of in collaboration with HelloFresh. I've got my HelloFresh delivery again. As you know, if you watch my Instagram and that as well, you will know that... I like HelloFresh, we use HelloFresh anyway, so when they ask to collaborate, I'm like, woohoo, gonna get a few meals, which is amazing, because we use it anyway, it's really convenient. If you don't know what HelloFresh are, they're an online company, you can go on there and you can pick meals, they have so many meals each week to choose from, loads and loads on there, loads of different options, and you just pick up how many people you wanna cook for, um, so you pick two people or four people, they send all the ingredients to your door, all the ingredients are super fresh, um, and they come with these little like information, like ingredients or recipes as well. So it'll have all the nutritional values on the back, the step-by-step -step guide on how to cook it, and also it'll have the timings. So this is a customer favourite. It's definitely one of my favourites. I'm having this for my lunch today. So the Penny Ragu Al Forno. It's ready in 40 minutes, and it has one of my five a day in it, which I think is really good. Um, and it just lists all the ingredients. It's really simple. And then I'm going to cook this, get my lunch, and then it's going to have a little charity shop haul, which I'm excited about, but I have got a discount code for you, so that's what I want to share with you. I'll pop it at the bottom of the screen now. You get 50% off your first box and then 35% off your next three boxes, which I think is really, really good. So I'm going to get on now and show you that. So I just wanted to show you one while that pasta is boiling. Um, so if HelloFresh comes with all the ingredients, so even down to the cheese, I've got the red wine stock here, tomato puree, all of the veg, veg and like stuff like that that comes with it and the meat is so fresh. Um, really, really fresh and tasty. It smells nice. Um, so we've got these other dinners as well. And what I really love about HelloFresh is everything gets packaged. And it's got like a sticker number on it that matches up to the um, little recipe card. So you know exactly what's what. All these ingredients that you get with it, all of them come with it. Literally the only things that you have to add yourself is things like water. Um, so it all comes. So this week we've also got beef sloppy joes on Giovatta. These are one of the kids' favourites. These are amazing. These are nice for lunch as well. Um, and then also we've got the halloumi and aubergine burger. We've not had this one before. We've had the halloumi burger, but not with aubergine. Um, and this comes with wedges as well. So oh, really looking forward to that. Everything comes with it. So definitely worth giving it a go. I'm going to fry it all up, cook it off my lunch, and then I'll show you what it comes out like. Is it just me or am I like the only one that gets super excited when they see food? My cheeks actually start to hurt where I smile too much. I get excited for the anticipation of taste. So here we have the finished dish. They are... Let's have a taste test. Mmm. Mm. That is very good. I'm actually going to do this thing where I'm going to go off camera and with the magic of putting the videos together, you won't even know that I've secretly eaten all of this before I show you all the charity shop stuff and I'll do it. And no one will know that I've scoffed it down like a little piglet. Definitely worth it. It is so convenient. It does come to your door. Everything is really fresh. So it's definitely worth giving it a go. And you'll get 50% off your first box and then 35% off your next three boxes. So I'm gonna go on there and show you the charity shop stuff with a vision of magic, so you won't even know I've eaten it. <laughs> so for the first part of the charity shop bit, before I show you the dresser of dreams, um, I went into St. Helena's Hospice. Um, so I love my local one because actually everything in there is normally a pound and then bits of bric-a-brac even cheaper and books and that. I've got so many good bargains over the years in there. And um, so the first thing I picked up was some clothes. So I picked up this skirt. Now this was two woman and it's still got the label on it. Like everything in there, like near enough that I buy, tends to have labels on it. It's basically brand new. And um, so I've got this skirt. It's like in a corduroy style fabric. It's really nice. It's like a dark black and it's got like cherry sort of colored florals on it. This is beautiful. I paid a pound for this. And um, I've got this in a size 16. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is wearing it with like a nice sort of like black t-shirt in the summer with a little converse like maybe or what I could do or little sandals 
um, but while it's winter, black tights and a nice blouse, maybe even something like with blue sleeves like this, like poofy sleeves. I'm tucked this top in, I'm liking the little uh, mix match of this, but that was only a pound and I thought that was so good. It's got a little zip up the side and I thought that was such good quality, such a beautiful pattern. It's like such a me pattern, I love it. I was looking to get excited from this match I'm here then. The next thing I picked up, so this wasn't brand new, but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So this is a size 16 white blouse. So this was a pound as well, but it is lovely and white. So I'm assuming, because I can't keep my whites very white. Um, so this is a size 16, and this is Per Una. I think that was Debenhams, wasn't it? Um, but it's this lovely white blouse. It's like this ruffly bit here. Do you know what? I'm gonna go off camera quickly. Why am I going off camera? I don't know, I do try on hauls. <laughs> Got my little pasta belly out in the in the in the shop. Who cares, eh? Um, <laughs> oh, my little uh, thingy bra on as well. But to be fair, I'm very pale at the moment. I've normally tanned to wear white, but I love the little collar on it. It's got nice little like buttons on it as well. And I probably would tuck this into a sort of skirt, but like maybe like a like a tan one or something like that. I also got in there, so this was a pound. I also got in there, which basically looks like what I've got on right now, or my, the dress I had on right now. So I've got this polka dot dress. So the bottom half's polka dot, it's a mid, like a midi, and the top half's like a t-shirt. Size 16, and this was a, no, oh, I got this in, actually, I got this in each. That's next, that's East Anglia's Children Hospices. And it was on a five pound row, and I was like, it's five pound for that? And it actually gone down to a pound. Um, so I got this as well. I will try this one as well for you guys, why not? I really don't know why I keep going off the camera. I'm a bit self-conscious because <laughs> I haven't even untucked my bra. I've got like breast pads on and everything. Um, but I'm breastfeeding, so there you go. What do you, what do you expect? Um, so this is a size 16. This was X Primark. I am finding a lot of charity shops now are just selling like Primark and Boohoo and that. I used to love the days when you used to go in there and get like, like something like cashmere or something. But I thought this was a really cute little dress as well. I'm gonna move this out of the way. For a pound. And I'm gonna belt it up round the middle, belt it up round there. And it's a midi and it's got a little, little split, a little split at the side, so for a pound. But you definitely could go to a charity shop and get yourself a new wardrobe. I mean, this just looks a bit gross because <laughs> it does need an iron. I think white stuff always looks like it needs an iron anyway, but that will be nice with a little bit of a tan in the summer, maybe even a pair of dark blue skinny jeans and some like tan sandals. And um, so I've got this as well. So currently I've spent three pounds and I've got some nice new bits for my wardrobe. And then I also picked up this bad boy. To be fair, <laughs> had I have put it in the bag, not scrunched it in, it probably wouldn't look so bad. And I go, I'm not going for the camera. <laughs> I think it's because I weren't prepared for a trial haul, guys. Not that it makes any difference, they'll look exactly the same. Um, but I also got this dress. Now, this is a breastfeeding friendly dress from H&M in a size 16. And this is, oh, it's a large, so it's equivalent to 16. Um, and it's H&M Mama brand. Paid a pound for this as well. But this is like a wrap dress and I can easily get the boobas out. The boobas for baby. I like these kind of sleeves as well. They're sort of like, oh, very flattering. <laughs> Peekaboo. So this is the bit that goes under the breasts. And then it's got like this nice little wrap detail here. And it's like a, comes to the knee, the dress. And it's got like a little wrap band. What I am gonna do, I think, is I'm just gonna give away all my stuff once I give up breastfeeding. And I'll just put it on my Instagram. So if anyone wants a bundle of breastfeeding gear, and my term in, I'll just send it out to you because I know how expensive it can be and I've got so many good deals from the charity shop and then you can just donate it to charity after. Um, so I'm gonna probably do that um, once I've given up breastfeeding, which won't be for a while yet. Um, but I will let you know on my channel if anyone wants it because I'll be happy to just give it away for free. Um, but it's got that little bit there, so it's really easy when you're out, you can just breastfeed. Easy, it's such easy access. And do you know what, I might even keep this one long term because I actually really like this. Actually, I do like a nice black wrap. I think it's very, very flattering. And it was a pound as well, guys. So I might as well keep this on for the duration of the rest of the video. Save getting all my dress and stuff. Why not? Does anyone else do that? Put something on and you think, actually, I really like this. And then keep it on. I do that quite a lot. So also as well, I've got this lovely little pot. Um, and I thought, how cute is this lovely little star pot? 
might be a bit Christmassy, but I'm thinking of painting this in like a white colour um, and just getting like a little faux plant or some herbs or something in it for in my kitchen. On the other side, I bought this really nice big barn star, like white barn star. So I think it just will add the little star incorporations around the uh, kitchen. Um, so I paid 30p for that, which I thought was really good. And then I've got really itchy nose. It's like the dust is like still, <laughs> still a bit of mud in there. It's got a bit of nose. And then the last thing I got, it's not the last thing, because this is flat. Now summer is coming and now we're allowed to have like parties and stuff and get togethers. I got this. So I got this for 30p. So this is little, um, so I think you get 20 of these and it's the Great British Bake Off. So on there it has like um, recipes and it also has the Great British Bake Off party. So it's got invitations and it's got a recipe, different recipe cards. So basically it's a baking party. So you give in, um, a recipe to each of your friends and an invite and they've got to bake a cake and then bring them for the cake party. So I'm gonna do this with a couple of my like girl mates, have a few pots of tea, have a Bridgewater teapots on the table, some of my mix mash china that I've got from like the charity shops. And I'm gonna do like a little garden party, like a 1950s style garden party. I might even do it for the Queen's Jubilee. Why not actually, just thought of that. Do it for the Jubilee. Um, so you get the invites and the recipes in there. So you get 20 of each and the big ones are at the back and they're like the recipes. And they're so good and I paid 30p for it. So I thought, hey, you can't run wrong with that. And then the last thing before the dresser, I feel like this is one of my most exciting hauls, charity shop hauls that I've had. Actually, full stop hauls. I love a bargain. I love a bargain. Um, and what was nice was I donated a bag of stuff and then I bought a bag of stuff. So I'm donating money for the charity and then donating more because I've bought some stuff. So it just makes you feel good. It's less like landfill stuff. So I've got this for Alfie. So this was 50p, this book. Um, and it's what happened when what happened when in the world. So Alfie is a history buff. He absolutely loves anything to do with space as well. He really is into facts and stuff. He comes home and says, like, can I watch facts? At Christmas time, people bought him globes and telescopes and stuff. He just loves that kind of stuff. Um, and I just, when I saw this, I thought he will love this book. It's a lovely hard book and it's one of them, like hardback book. And it's a DK book and I thought for 50p and in here, it's got like the history as you've never seen it before. Um, and it's got like the modern world, medieval world, ancient world. It's just amazing. But I thought, how good is that? Like really, you don't, there's no excuse. Like with kids toys, they have so many kids toys in there and books and stuff. You can get some really beautiful books. And this was originally retailing at 12 99 I paid 50p for it. So you really can't go wrong. Um, and the hardback ones are even better because you give them a little wipe over and yeah, they're just perfect. So I know he'll love that. I'm going to give that to him when he gets home from school and he will really enjoy that. So this has been my... Haul. I'm going to now show you the dresser. So the dresser I actually got for £50 in a charity shop that basically sells furniture as well. And um, I've been looking in my living room. Now I find I've got a space and I wanted to put a lamp in the corner. So I was looking for sideboards. Now even brand new, really cheap ones, cheaply made by MDF and stuff, they're like £200, £300. And um, so I thought, you know, what? I'm going to go charity shop and have a look. It was the perfect size and it had a dresser top on it. Now I wanted the dresser top on it. But unfortunately, when I put the dresser top on, because I've done the peg rails at the top, a few people did say on my Instagram, take the peg rails off of the wall. Um, but I know now them on, and I know that it's gonna rip all the wood off and cause a lot of drama. Um, and it doesn't fit flat to the wall, so it ended up being quite dangerous with the children, especially with Albert once he starts walking around. Um, so I'm gonna show you it now, but the dresser top I'm gonna use as a shelving unit down in my summer house with all my craft supplies on it. I'm still gonna paint it. Um, and it's too beautiful. So once maybe Albert isn't as, running around crazy and like little and pulling onto furniture what i may do is then have it because it won't need to be strapped to the wall so like when he's a lot older so i'm going to keep that and i'm also going to use the bottom part as a sideboard so i'm going to upcycle it and it's still going to be really beautiful and it's still amazing for 50 pound i'll get a shelf and that together um and it's solid wood it's a bit orangey pine so i'm going to upcycle it i will do a video of me upcycling it as well and i'm going to get all the top off like make it all like nice light wood rather than the orange new handles but I thought for £50 and I also got a lamp from my hallway that I don't really use in my hallway I'm going to upcycle that a little bit as well so I'm going to show you that now and then I'm going to see you later with my little video but um yeah I'm really excited for you to see it I thought for such a bargain so here is the dresser obviously this is what I'm talking about with the peg rail bit at the top there um so it's a little bit annoying because obviously the dresser top is too tall the dresser top it comes to like roughly like above that picture rail as well um, but how lovely is this with like the barley twist at the front as well? It's like the perfect size. 
This little lamp was from the range and it was in dark wood and I painted it like grey and like stone effect for in my hallway. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a tester pot of beige, paint it first and then redo the stone effect in white to sort of like blend it in with the beiges instead. You can't really tell on the camera but it is very, very grey. Um, but yeah, I'm going to paint this. I'm thinking of porcelain knobs to match the other dresser in my... Um, let new snuggy bit um or i don't know if to go for like a nice chrome cup handle let me know in the comments what you think would be better because i have got quite a bit of chrome and stuff in here as well and um, i don't know whether to stick to like the white porcelain shabby chic sort of vibes as well and um, but it's got two drawers and as you open it it's got loads of nice storage and a shelving unit in there which i'll put some nice baskets in there probably put albert's bits that are accessible down here like some of his nappies and his little blocks and stuff that he's been playing with. It's got nice little drawers there for your remote drawer. <laughs> Bertie's even getting involved. He's like, no, you can put my toys in there, mum. Um, but I thought, how good is this? And I love it when there's a gap underneath <laughs> so I can hoover underneath or get the, the mop underneath. It's not easy for dust. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really good. I'm going to show you the dresser top because Gary's actually put that down in the summer house already. So I filmed that a little bit yesterday um, and I'll put that in now so you can see the dresser top. My mistake, guys. I rang Gary to say, like, where is the dresser? footage i've done it on his phone he was like oh sorry i deleted it by accident and i said oh is it down in the summer house but no it's in the shed at the moment so i'm going to paint this in here first um, and then pop it into the summer house but i'm going to put baskets at the bottom bit here which i think would be quite nice it's all got barley twist as well and this lovely little bit here and i just thought as it is in the shed my little messy shed <laughs> Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to paint this and have little baskets with my wool in it and like my glue sticks and craft stuff while I'm obviously waiting and I'm going to keep it and then eventually have this as the dresser. Um, so yeah, once the kids are a little bit bigger. Oh, so this has been my little haul guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. So take care. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Bye.